I'm David Hinkle, as she said. Uh, my day job is a software developer. I work, uh, I've been working in software for a long time. I'm, I'm self-taught. The makerspace is what I do in my free time. And I'm one of 10 co-founders, believe it or not, 10 co-founders that, uh, that established this space. I've been the president now for three years, and this is my last year. I've got a term limit. So I'm going to be taking the next year off, and we're going to elect a whole new board of directors. And this space is, uh, you know, a cooperation between Hamilton Tech and, and, uh, and just a bunch of engineers from the community. And what a makerspace is, is a makerspace is a place to come together to build and create. It's, it's, it's in addition to being a space, it's also a movement. There's makerspaces opening up in every city across the country right now. There's, there's two in Chicago, for example. We've got laser cutters, we've got CNC mills, we've got all the hand tools, we've got a bunch of woodworking tools, we've got desk space, we've got drills, we've got lathes, you know, we've got all the stuff, right? And that's what keeps people, that's what keeps people coming through the door because they see the space, they see all this cool stuff, they think I can come here and they can build and create, but that's not what keeps them there. What keeps them there, what really makes the space work is the people. I have had the opportunity to learn from so many people that I can literally make anything now. You know, I teach people programming all the time, and one of the persons I taught to program taught me how to, um, you know, how to go mountain climbing, you know, how to use ropes and, and belays and all that equipment. And, and I taught an electrical engineer how to program, and he taught me electrical engineering. And I teach that electrical engineering now to other people. So I teach classes on Arduino, and then I learn about woodworking, and I teach classes on woodworking. Uh, we do have uh, a lot of different communities at the lab. We've got, uh, right now we've got inventors showing up. We've got, uh, there's a local inventors group and those guys are starting to show up and work on their devices at the lab and they're very commercial. And we've got artists that uh, use the space, that use the space just to create in interesting ways. Now, a lot of times we actually have to turn down tool donations, you know, because we just don't have space for them. Like, we call it, uh, you know, awesomeness per square inch. It has to be very high now. By being at the space all the time, I just absorb all this knowledge and learn all these things from all these great people. And then I teach them things and they teach me things back. And uh, that's what keeps the space full of people all the time.